Today, I'm gonna to talk about the best earbuds I've ever listened to, the Jabra Elite 85T. Seven point five six miles, nine minutes, eight seconds per mile, one hundred and thirty nine beats per minute today. Going for a snowy, foggy run, just absolute like mystical quality to the air and the weather out there today. Had a really fantastic time running. Also had the pleasure of running in the Jabra Elite 85T. These earbuds are just absolutely fantastic. But before I give you my more detailed thoughts on that, and there is one caveat that I do want to warn runners about specifically. Before I do that, I wanna go over some disclosures. This is a pair of earbuds that I purchased with my own money. No one sent these earbuds to me or is paying me to make this video. And no one's gonna get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So with those disclosures out of the way, let's talk about the Jabra Elite 85T. Now, I've been a big fan of the entire Jabra Elite line. Started with the 65T, the 75T, and now the 85T. Uh, with everything that kind of happened last year, I didn't realize that these were released like several months ago. And uh, I'm kind of bummed about that because I am such a big fan generally of the line. This year, the earbuds have a semi-open design. In other words, it's not like suction cupped into the ear, which a lot of earbuds rely on both active noise cancelization, in other words, microphones and software to be noise canceling. And they also rely in part on like suction, it's like it's basically you got like earplugs in and that's what's also keeping out sound. They're not doing that this year. The main benefits of that are they're supposed to be more comfortable to wear for a long periods of time. And you sometimes get that weird sensation of when you have like noise canceling earbuds in that really stick in the ear, that when you're talking, it feels very hollow um, or it just feels a little bit unnatural. The pass through audio is absolutely fantastic. Not only can you turn it on or off so that way you can either cancel out the noises that are around you or you can choose to bring them in which I think is really important these days in 2021 for runners to have in their earbuds so that way they can hear the noises around them better. For example, if there's cars that you need to be keeping an eye out for with an app, you can adjust how much noise cancellation there is, but you can customize the sound as well. In fact, when you get these earbuds and I believe this happened with the 75T as well. I don't remember about the 65T, but it was definitely for the 75T as well. When you first get them, it basically gives you a hearing test. It does that thing where it plays a whole bunch of tones and instead of like raising your hand um, when you're getting that checkup in terms of when you can still hear the tone or not, you press a button on the app or you just like tap the app to let it know that you can hear that frequency. It did that for the right and for the left. I didn't hear that many tones for the right. I did hear a lot more tones for the left, but it does that so that way you can further customize the sound, not only for like your preferences, but for your actual hearing as well. In addition to that, you can then customize it based on your sound preferences as well. I have pretty terrible taste in terms of soundstage. I like everything just like super bass heavy uh, and it lets me do that here. So I'm really happy with the ability to do that and it 
earbuds at this price range is definitely something that I would expect. In addition to that, within the app, you can do a whole bunch of things like customize how the buttons work in terms of how you're interacting with the earbuds, but you can also customize certain settings as well. So not only can you toggle on and off noise canceling mode or in hear through mode, but you can also also set specific modes for when you're commuting, or you could go to like focus mode where you've got like full, like, you know, noise canceling on and you could set it to maybe there's a certain kind of music you like to listen to when you're really trying to focus. And then there's like a third setting that you could just kind of, that's your default setting, uh, something that you always want or would normally want your earbud to be able to pick up for you. So there's lots of ways that you can kind of have presets as well. So lots of ways to customize it. Now I tested these earbuds against the two other of my favorite earbuds that I've been running with over the last year. I didn't bring the Jabra Elite 75T with me when we came here to Iowa from Chicago. So those are still back in Chicago now, but I do have the AirPods Pro, which have just been kind of like the most reliable pair. Uh, they're not the best sounding pair. They don't have the best uh, kind of like hear through mode, but they just always work for me. They're always dependable. I haven't charged these in, I don't remember how long and the battery just still is pretty much like 100%. So like, it's just always kind of like my, my backup parachute. I also really have been enjoying the Pamu Quiet. These earbuds really deliver. The sound is better than what I'm getting from the AirPods Pro and the noise canceling and the pass through audio is much better than the AirPods Pro. And I do like the fact that these are black earbuds. I'm a big fan of black earbuds, but the downside of these is that uh, interacting with them is a real pain. It's very difficult to do. And when you are doing it, you're never sure if you've quite done the right thing, if you've registered a press or an action or not. And even when you do register an action, there's always like a lag, which only further kind of like complicates things. So like these are kind of like, the sound is really good, but everything else is kind of like not as fantastic to live with. So in the sound testing that I did across all three of these earbuds, I listened to music, I watched TV shows, I watched a couple of episodes of The Mandalorian, and I listened to podcasts and audiobooks while I was out there on my run. And in all the situations, the Jabra Elite 85T definitely came out as the better earbud. Music just sounds really full and encompassing. It feels like it's wrapping you in kind of like an audio hug whenever you're listening to music in these earbuds. And I'm getting that to some extent with the Palm and Quiet and not nearly as much as I'd like in the AirPods Pro. The Jabra Elite 85T is very clearly the much better earbud. When it comes to television as well, even more so, I feel like the Jabra Elite 85T is standing out and standing, setting itself apart from these other two earbuds that I particularly enjoy. Uh, again, it's just that fullness of sound and you're just getting... I'm hearing noises from like different parts of the screen where it, sometimes I was kind of turning around to see like, is someone making noise behind me? Uh, Cause I just wasn't sure what was happening. And then I'm realizing it's coming from the screens that I was looking at. So just like the ability to reproduce sound is just absolutely amazing. There's bass notes, there's rumble when I want it. And there's just like sparkling highs when I want it to. And everything's just very clean and just just seems very realistic when I'm listening into my ears. So I'm, I'm very enthusiastic about the sound that these can provide. Uh, in terms of the noise canceling, or for me, what's more important than noise canceling is bringing that audio in. I feel like the Jabra Elite 85T easily wins again there. And I think much like, much like the sound quality for listening to music, uh, like the AirPods Pro work, um, but you know, the Pamu Quiet does a little bit better of a job. Uh, the Jabra Elite does an, a little bit better of a job still in terms of being able to bring in other sounds from the world around me. And so uh, for the run today, specifically, I was listening to, I listened to a little bit of music, but I listened to mostly podcasts today. And uh, there were times with the fog that was out there where I wasn't able to see a car coming, but I could hear it coming in the earbud. So that was pretty amazing. And I think part of it was the fog. Part of it was that this the, the route that I went on today is a little bit hilly, so it, it might obscure a car from view. And so uh, I definitely heard the car first and it alerted me that I got to pay attention. Something's going to be coming up over the hill. Uh, and then I would see it like a couple of seconds later. So I was really impressed with that. 
cars coming from behind me, I didn't quite hear as like well as noticeably. Um, I did hear them before they got to me, but not nearly from as like far away as the ones that were ahead of me. So I don't know if like the mics are kind of like pointing forward more than they are backward or what, but, or maybe it was just, you know, just happened to be the cars that happened to be passing me or going by me today. So it could have been a coincidence, but I had this very similar situation when I went on a long run yesterday where uh, the stuff in front of me is something that are things that I'm hearing very well. The stuff behind me, not quite as well, but I'm still picking it up pretty distinctly. The other thing that I notice is with the podcasts, uh, because the podcasts are like conversations with people and there might be other ambient noises that are being recorded when the people are talking, like if it's you know over the phone or something like that. I was kind of like hearing noises and, and like looking behind me to see if like, did someone just open a door behind me? Or like, what's, is that a dog barking in the background? And then I realized it was like a dog barking in the background of a podcast that I was listening to. So uh, that part got a little bit confusing because again, the sounds when they're re getting reproduced are, are coming through really clearly. So like kind of amazing how good these uh, uh, earbuds are doing almost too good for for their own good but i feel like in terms of helping me stay alert to what's around me the earbuds are doing a fantastic job now let's talk about the buttons and how like interacting with these things work now it's winter time here in new vienna iowa and that means thick winter gloves in fact most days i'm doubling up on gloves like thin gloves inside my winter mittens and i'm running that way and the way they interact with these is with actual physical buttons that are on the sides of each of the earbuds and each earbud controls different things depending on what you're tapping. One tap on the left earbud gives you a toggle of the noise cancellation versus the hear through mode. A tap uh, on the right hand side gives you play and pause toggle that way. Uh, a double tap on the left hand side will give you advance and then triple tap will give you uh, reverse. And then double tap on the right hand side will give you uh, your digital assistant. To increase or decrease volume, you'll press and hold, so long press. But the main thing is that I can still actually do these things even with my mittens on in the winter because the buttons are nice and clicky and I'm not a huge fan of the idea that I have to like poke myself in the ear in order to like make any sorts of changes, play pause or anything like that. But they're easy enough to press, but they're also not so easy that I'm getting accidental presses. So I'm able to use my hands to get reliable presses that are quick responding every single time and I'm not accidentally getting presses because I've got a hat and I've got like a, a neck gaiter on that also generally comes over my ear. Uh, something that happens frequently with these earbuds is that like that neck gaiter that comes up, that just touching it will like register as a touch sometimes. So then it just ends up pausing my music in the middle of a run. Uh, and that's pretty annoying because it's very difficult to then like unpause it for some reason when I'm running with these earbuds in the winter and I've got mittens on. The buttons on the AirPods Pro are pretty good and I generally really like them in the summer, but in the winter time when they're like stuck behind, like underneath my hat and below the neck gaiter, it's really hard to get to these because the button is really small, uh, especially when I have my mittens on. So these, I just don't even bother trying to change anything when I have these earbuds in. The Jabra Elite 85T, I was able to do that. I was able to play pause. I was able to toggle on and off noise canceling. Noise canceling might be actually something that I turn on in these kinds of earbuds. If it's super windy in that situation, then I will turn the noise canceling on so that way it's the microphones are not pumping wind noise into my ear. I didn't have to do that today. It wasn't that windy, fortunately. Um, what I did do also with this uh, set of earbuds on this run in particular was I would double tap and toggle and, and call up the digital assistant or call up Siri on my Apple Watch. And with that, I was able to talk to it and get it to switch to different podcasts really easily. So that was very nice. Play podcast, the Rambling Runner podcast. Play podcast, I'll have another. Play podcast, the Morning Checkout podcast. In terms of battery life, these are probably some of the longest lasting earbuds that I've ever run in. Uh, the 75T were very similar. They say that they get five and a half hours on a charge and I haven't done extremely long uh, activity testing with this, but I basically have been using them in the mornings before I go out for my run as I'm editing my YouTube videos. Uh, so that's a couple hours of use and then I will then take them out for a run 
uh, as well. And sometimes that's been an hour, the other day it was two hours. So, and then I'm coming back and there's still plenty of life left in them. Plus within the case itself, you are getting another almost 20 hours from the case. So you could top it up a whole bunch of times, but they do have not only USB-C charging, but uh, wireless charging capable as well. So if you have a charging mat, you could just set these down after every single run and, and you'd be good to go. You never run out of battery that way. Uh, I think that 5.5 hour battery life is a wonderful number to hit because then I think for a lot of people out there, they can not only run if they wanted to race a marathon with these earbuds in, but they'll also be able to, you know, in your warm up time when you're getting ready, maybe you want to get in the zone yourself, you know, and just kind of like focus. You don't have to worry about like, if I listen to music before the race, am I going to run out of battery? You'll have plenty of time. So just really long battery life. And I love this five and a half hour battery number. The other thing to keep in mind though, is if uh, you do find that the earbuds are like nearly dead, 15 minutes of charging will give you an hour of listening time. So it's got a quick charge function as well. And I think that's pretty fantastic. Now let's talk about two things that I don't like about these earbuds. One is that they're IPX4. And I just think that for earbuds in 2021, especially ones that are in this premium category, like I just don't think that's enough. That IPX4 means that it's rated for like splashes of water from any direction, which I think will be fine for like if, if rain gets on them, but it makes me a little bit nervous when we're talking about sweat, especially sweat that can get like in the ear. I, I, I think last year in the 75T, they were IP55 rated. So they had a higher dust and they had a higher water rating. So I'm not sure why they took that step backward. I don't know if it's the venting that they've done in order to make this feel more comfortable for all day wearing that also made it less kind of like waterproof or water resistant. But I think that's a step in the wrong direction. I'd love to see that be even higher. The other thing that I don't love is, and I'm not sure that I don't love it, is that these earbuds, because they're not as secure fitting inside the ear canal, because they're vented and they do seem to be a little bit bigger, I'm worried that they might fall out on a super sweaty kind of run. Now, it's the middle of winter here in Iowa and I don't have access to a treadmill, so I can't really do a super sweat test or haven't at least done one right now. And for now, these days, I'm gonna be running with a winter hat on, so it's gonna be holding them into my ear. But until I can actually do the test, it's something that I'm a little bit concerned about. Now, this might be, again, something that they're okay with because they've always had the active version of their Jabra Elite earbuds. So I've never tried any of the active versions. This might be the first year that I have to kind of like maybe steer people away from the 85T and push them towards an 85T active. I'm not even sure if there's an 85T active out yet, but it's certainly something that I'm gonna hope will address these two issues in terms of fit, uh, making sure they could stay in even on your sweatiest runs and some of that uh, water resistance because I'm worried about like with it, like if I have just lots of sweat in this area, it's eventually, is it gonna penetrate into some of the components and like this, that salty material, it just it really makes earbuds start to go quickly. So something that I don't have any problems with yet, but something that I'll definitely be keeping an eye on for a longer term review. I think the last thing that I'll do is a quick audio test because a big part of these I think is the all day wearability with the idea that not only would you be listening to music all day with these, maybe you're getting onto Zoom calls for work. Uh, and so a lot of the emphasis is on your voice quality when you're talking on the microphone. So let's do a quick test with that. We'll take a look at my iPhone and uh, we'll listen to the iPhone mics as a comparison point, kind of as like kind of a standard to con or control. And then we'll go to uh, using the Jabra Elite microphones, see how they sound. All right, so this is an audio test. Uh, I've got you on the iPhone 11 Pro now on the front facing camera. I got the camera this far away from me just to give you an idea of what it sounds like when I just have the phone itself and its built in microphones, which I consider to be pretty good. And I was doing something like a Zoom call. So now I'm talking to you with the Jabra Elite 85T earbuds in and connect it to this same iPhone. This will give you an opportunity to listen to what it sounds like in terms of any noise cancellation that the earbuds might be providing in terms of any noises that are going on in this room, but also how well it does at picking up my voice for something like a Zoom call. 
Okay, now we're back on the regular camera and the regular microphone after that quick sound test comparing the Jabra Elite 85T and the iPhone 11 Pro's microphones. And I would say that I don't think the 85T is blowing me out of the water. I wouldn't get this specifically for voice calls or Zoom meetings or anything like that. Now, the last thing that I wanna talk about today is the price of these earbuds. It's something that I mentioned that these are kind of premium earbuds. These are in the highest price category. These come in at a retail of $229, which is a pretty astronomical price. I absolutely love these earbuds. These are the best earbuds that I've ever experienced for sure. But whether they're worth it for others, I'm not so sure. Because again, there's that issue with, are they gonna fall out when I'm super sweaty? The Elite 75T, I didn't have a problem with. And right now you can get those at a pretty good discount. And that Jabra Elite 65T is still available out there on Amazon as well. So you can still get into like the Jabra Elite experience at a very, very good discount. And those earbuds are an extreme value. I love those at the prices that you can find them now. But at $230, I'm just not sure that these are quite worth it. Maybe once these go on discount after a little bit of time, then it might be worth it. Uh, but $230, I'm, I mean, I'm expecting a lot once you get to that $200 price point range. $230 just seems a lot. Is it fair for what you're getting? Absolutely but for runners, maybe not the first choice that I would make. So those are my thoughts on the Jabra Elite 85T for runners. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or better yet, I do a live stream every day on YouTube, 3 p.m. Central Time. I'd love to talk to you guys about any questions you might have there. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?